catch a rabbit by his head Come down step I like to walk on air The Grateful Dead the Doors and Joan Baez are just a few legendary musicians who will be honored with 2007 Lifetime Achievement Awards by the Grammy Foundation. The Grateful Dead, who never had a number one hit single and didn't have commercial success until 1987's album In the Dark, built a loyal following by performing hundreds of concerts per year for over 30 years. We caught up with Grateful Dead guitarist Bob Weir to talk about his initial meeting with rock icon Jerry Garcia and the fact the two had so much fun after their first jam together that they decided to start a folk band in 1965. Uh, we were walking the back streets of uh, Opelo Alto. We were walking behind Dinner Morgan Music Store. Heard banjo music coming from inside and, and we knew it had to be Jerry because he was the banjo teacher there. We were all well aware of that. And we knocked on the door just to see what was, what was shaking in there. And there was Jerry waiting for his, uh, dutifully waiting for his students. And I, you know, I promised him, well, hey, uh, Jerry, it's uh, New Year's Eve. I, I don't think they're coming. And, uh, and so he said, <laughs> right, you are. So he, uh, he had the key to the front of the store. So we just broke into the front of the store and got some instruments out and just played for, I don't know how long it was, a few hours. And uh, we had enough fun that we decided, okay, well, let's, Let's make a band out of this. And so next, the next week we uh, got together, I think it was on a Tuesday night at, uh, at, a, you know, at a hippie crash pad where a bunch of people were staying and, and had a rehearsal and it worked. Got gigs and started to pick up some steam. It became a fairly popular folk ensemble. But like so many bands after seeing the Beatles in the early 60s, the Grateful Dead decided to trade in their acoustic jug band instruments for electric instruments geared more towards playing electric rock and roll. You know, seeing the Beatles on TV and then walk into the music store, the electric instruments were starting to look fairly impossibly attractive. And so we turned from a folk ensemble, a jug band, into a, into a, a rock and roll band. We, uh, I think Jerry knew Billy. He played some frat gigs with him. And so uh, we pulled Billy in, and the rest, I guess, is history. Other honorees for Lifetime Achievement Grammy Awards include Maria Callas, Ornette Coleman, Bob Wills, and Booker T and the MGs. The 49th Annual Grammys, which will be aired live on CBS, will be handed out at the Staples Center in Los Angeles February 11th. <laughs>